In today's hybrid workforce environment, an elegant yet secure end-user experience to get onto the VPN is more important than ever. And in this video, we're gonna try to achieve just that. So as an administrator, head to your Cisco Meraki dashboard and navigate to Systems Manager, Monitor Devices. This will list all the devices enrolled in your Meraki Systems Manager network. This desktop 6RUL42 is the device I'm actually using right now, and we will configure it remotely from dashboard. Before you begin, you need to ensure the device is running SM Agent 370 or higher, as this requires the latest SM Agent functionality to use. If you do not see this column, simply add the Agent Version column from the sidebar. Our device looks good, so click on the device, and here we can view all the device's information. Right now, the Cisco Secure Client application is not installed on the device, which you can see locally on the device as well. To install this, I have pre-added the Cisco Secure Client MSI application to the Systems Manager apps page, and I set it to install on all devices with a specific tag, so I can add the same tag here to initiate the install. And just like that, the device is in scope for this application, so I can see this install happening from dashboard by going down to the activity log, and you can see we have this pending command now. After a few moments, refresh the activity log, and we can see this application is now installed. And the end user will be able to see this reflected locally on their device as well. When we refresh this list, you can see Cisco Secure Client app with AnyConnect module is now installed. And another quick note while we're here, you see this certificate list from dashboard? Well, this certificate here was installed by a profile from Systems Manager as part of the device's enrollment. I even optionally added the Systems Manager device ID as the certificate's common name, so I can track this device further against the Meraki API. This is totally optional, but the point is I added a trusted identity certificate from Systems Manager to only devices that are enrolled. So now we have most of the pieces already installed. However, there's one last piece we need to do the Cisco Secure Client App configuration file. The Cisco Secure Client application, like many other desktop apps, requires a special config file to customize the install. This custom config is located in C, Program Data, Cisco, Cisco Secure Client VPN, Profile Directory. Here we need to install a .xml config file so that any Connect application knows how to run. Let's use Systems Manager's new PowerShell scripting feature to create this file on the device. In your Meraki dashboard, navigate over to Systems Manager Manage Scripts. This is a totally new page where you can upload scripts for macOS and Windows enrolled devices. Click on Add Script in the top right. I'm configuring a Windows device here, so I'll select Windows. Add a name and description. This is just for your dashboard administrator's reference. I have previously created and tested a PowerShell script locally on the device, so I'll select this .ps1 file and upload it. Remember, always test your scripts locally on a single device before bulk deploying with Systems Manager. By the way, you can find this example script and many others on documentation.meraki.com. Choose the desired scope of this script. I want this script to run on every device enrolled, so I'm gonna choose all devices and save the page. Let me show you the AnyConnect config installing in real time. I'm gonna hit NQ script. And if I open the folder path again real quick, yep, there it goes. It installed just like that. And in a few more moments, we should see the dashboard update the last run status to show completed. Yep, there, there it goes. So it's now completed and we can see in dashboard. And if you're curious on the device, this is actually what my PowerShell script did. It created this profile.xml config file. This is just a bunch of keys and values that the Cisco Secure Client application needs to enable AnyConnect VPN. So everything looks good. Now let's try to run it as an end user would. So the end user simply launches the Cisco Secure Client app from the device. And right away, you can see the SF Office certificate only host is automatically detected, launched, and we're starting to establish our connection. 
And just like that, we are successfully connected to the VPN tunnel. The same technique can be taken and used to deploy any connect on all Windows devices enrolled in Systems Manager in bulk. So administrators can have peace of mind that only devices enrolled into Systems Manager will be able to authenticate to the VPN. And the configuration takes place entirely from dashboard. And best of all, as an end user, all they have to do is just launch the Cisco Secure Client application. There's no easier way to get onto VPN from anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching. And for more information, please visit documentation.meraki.com.